What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another fish room update. Today uh, we're going to be showing you guys what we're going to be doing for the automated water change. If you haven't seen my last video of the drain pipe installation and how we connected all the tanks, uh, the, the, sorry, the bulkhead to the drain pipes, then click here. I'll post a link also in the description below. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to have planned out for today and what we're gonna do what we're gonna do all right so yesterday I put together our drip irrigation zones we have four in total meaning we're gonna divide all of the tanks into four different zones um, these guys are connected to a T this is a three-quarter rainbird control valve and that basically opens and closes electronically to let water through that is a check valve. This is a um, pressure regulator, and that's gonna reduce the pressure down to 25 PSI so it doesn't burst our drain pipes open, or sorry, our water pipes. And then this here is called a union, and you basically can det disattach this part to make it easy if we were to ever need to change out this valve, for example. So, Right now, me and Mytran are setting up the utility back wall so we can hook up all the four zones. Want to tell them what you're doing? So this is a concrete wall so we can't drill all of those rainbird um, pieces to go into the zones. So we've got to build a wall. And so that's what I'm working on right now. We've got two two by fours building some support between the drywall, the wood and the concrete. This is what we're drilling here. We already put this piece here, but we're trying to make a frame and then put the wall that she's holding on to it. Yeah, we're gonna build it all the way up to the top, um, make sure it has enough support to hold all the rainbird pieces since it's gonna be containing water inside. And then it's gonna be connected over here, right? Yes, so then I'm gonna build um, an attachment piece from this existing water hose. We're gonna bring that piece over here where we have the temperature regulator, the temperature gauge bowl uh, that will have a PEX pipe that goes straight into all the zones. Gotcha. Alright you guys. Oh. So we're just gonna put together this wall now and I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. Okay guys, so we got our drywall up but I want to show you our drain system because I didn't show you in our last video. Um, we didn't glue it yet but basically that's gonna turn here through the wall. It's gonna come out through this hole and we actually got our plumbing system finished. So this is called an indirect waste gate and basically it's just a coupler. We bought a four inch coupler to two inch I believe, right? And originally this pipe was closer to the wall so what we had to do was get a plumber to come and move the piping out a little bit and turn it so then we have room to put our pipe directly or our drain pipe directly in or above here. And basically this allows an air gap just so um, versus this system where it could back siphon the whole drain. It's a possibility but may never happen in our lifetime. But you'd rather be safe than sorry and you never know the city bylaw. So we just want to avoid that altogether when they come and look at it. Other than that, the drain system's done and we're working on the water change. This is the drywall we put up, or sorry, the board wall we put up. And this is where we're gonna hook the zones connected to the water. And again, I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay guys, check it out. We got our um, wood wall put up and we have all of our irrigation timers or valves set up, sorry. Let me show you guys that, what it looks like. So we had previous cold and hot water lines already here. And what we did was we tapped into it, made our own lines, and then we brought it to our temperature controller. And there's a thermostat. So hot water comes from here, cold water from there. We dial it here to control the temperature. And we check it with the thermostat here. And that leads down here to our ball, vol ball valve 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 I don't know however you guys say it and it's connected by a union so right now a union is basically to 
um, for us to disattach and reattach this whole system if we needed to. I added unions up here, um, basically in case these valves decide to break down over the course of years or something, we can just easily replace them by taking this entire thing off. Um, so right now we disconnected the union so we can test the water flow. My trend is gonna turn on the water just now. And then I have buckets ready. Cold water first. So the cold water is being across and coming to this one right here. So we're going to try it right now. I'm going to turn the water on. It means there's no leakage right here. So, so far we did a good job. Nice. Yes. Okay, now we need a bucket. Yes. <laughs> the next part is we're going to turn this water on. Hopefully it doesn't leak out from here. You turn it on, right? I did turn okay, so I turned on that ball valve. So as soon as we turn this ball valve, Whoa. you gotta get ready, okay? Right. Here, I'll hold the bucket, you control that, because I only have one hand. We're gonna get sprayed. Wow, I'm so weak, I can't even turn this. Oh. oh. Alright. No water. this no water we'll be back guys so turns out all this time is we had to take off the cap and just adjust this thing moving on guys oh and I had to take off these zones because I had to turn them um, it'll be easier having them face this way towards the wall but yep all right, you guys, I finished the first zone. Check it out. This is where the water is going to enter from, going in this way. The pipes are going to be leading from here, along the wall, from the utility room, like I mentioned earlier. Um, you can see that it pairs off or splits off into three. So I have a tube up there. I have a tube going down here. And I have a tube going down here. All right and that will supply water for each shelf. One, two, three. And then I also split the water turning this way to supply water to these two racks. And you can see how I split the water here. Just basically, basically got a four way, split it down each shelf again. And that's what it's gonna look like. Pretty simple, just very tedious. And now I'm working on the other three zones, and when I'm done, you guys will see that too. Wanted to give you guys an update. We managed to connect the water to the system, the auto water change system from Rainbird. It's a drip irrigation system, sorry. And I managed to get the tubings drilled through the wall. So tomorrow, I'm going to be connecting the long pipe and bringing it down this wall. And then one of the tubes are going to connect into this guy right here and send water to three racks. So now we are marking the hole in the pipes. So then I'm gonna take them off, drill it, and tap the a valve into it and then connect an airline tube. So we're just gonna mark all of them before we get drilling. So one thing I want to show you guys, the main reason we're able to do this whole water chain system um, is because of this. This is a whole building dechlorinator and our system wouldn't be able to work without this. This obviously dechlorinates the water coming into the building and that way we don't have to treat our water and it could just enter the fish tanks right away after it's corrected to the right temperature. But yeah. All right, so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing here as well. Um, got the tubes marked from earlier. Now I'm going to be using a special drill bit with a special thread maker 
these two came together off Amazon. You basically make the hole and then make the thread. And then after threading's made, we're gonna be installing one of these guys to control the water leading into the tanks. So let's go ahead, go ahead and do that now. So actually, I'm gonna do a practice pipe first because I don't know if it might not be the right size. I kinda just went based off people's suggestions off Amazon. And we'll see how it goes. That's what the hole looks like. Try your best to always drill on a perfect 90 degree angle going down. If you end up going on a slant, the hole might not be perfect. Now, we're gonna be trying the thread maker, and this is what it looks like. So, from what I read, you gotta be really slow and gentle with this. So, and you don't wanna go through all the way. It's kinda hard to see with my camera. Hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, now, job is to get some Teflon tape. We're just going to Teflon tape the bottom of this valve right here where the thread is and then put it in. So that's what it looks like. And now we can just go ahead and screw it in. And now I got to do about a hundred of them. So I'll see you guys when that's done. All right, you guys, it is 2.25. Oh. 2.25 a.m. and I just finished installing all the pipes and threading all of those um, valves into the pipes. You can see right there, got a valve right here, valve right there. I made sure that it was all lined up in the right corner of the tanks so the water would come around here roughly. Oh. And I did that for basically all the racks. Now, the only thing left I have to do is I gotta install all the pipes along the wall to connect to each of those zones. All of them are glued and pretty much ready to go. Pretty excited to test it out. Um, but I'm not going to be able to fill it until I get the gravel, which I believe isn't coming until a couple days from now. But um, I think we can test the water coming out the tubes. I'll see you tomorrow. It's time to go home. See you guys in two seconds. Alright, so we're here the next day. Guess what I just set up? Just managed to hook up the Rainbird controller, wired everything, and... Uh, Try to make it clean a little bit, but this is all the wiring that hooks up to the valves. Pretty simple stuff if you just follow the manual. So basically, this controller here is Wi-Fi. It's their new version. It's a Rainbird irrigation controller system. Um, that's the model there. And basically, what I can do is I can access it from my phone. So we'll go here, and then for zone one, Basically, I can run it manually, but what I'm going to do is set it automatic for every day. We're probably going to do two water changes a day, a total of 10%, so 5% each. But just so you guys can see an example, I'm going to click run. That is the sweet sound of victory. So that's fully set up. And now what I need to do is I need to finish hooking the pipes up to their designated zones and if I'm able to finish that today hopefully I can connect a tube into these valves and then get some water going I wanted to wait for the gravel before we started filling but um, the gravel wasn't in stock or not all of it was in stock so we're probably gonna have to wait till next week and we're just gonna start filling the water anyways to get it going or to see if it works um, and before that, I gotta make sure I cap off some of the ends here. We ran out of end caps, so 
my trans gonna be grabbing some in cast before she comes home from work today and yeah update you guys in a few seconds are right, you guys everything is hooked up got the pipes leading out to all of the zones everything is also glued and they all look about the same for the rest of them too let me just show you guys real quick got zone 2 ending off here going up and in zone 3 and then zone 4 we're gonna see how that goes If anything, we should see water on the bottom one first. Okay, so correction, we turn off the water and now the water's back on. We should see something go happening soon. We got water. Look at that. So water is entering all the tanks slowly. Now we just basically have to adjust it so that all the tanks get an even amount of flow. But we did it guys, look at that, it's amazing. Show you this side, show you the 55 gallon being filled right now. This one we ended up having two. And you can see the water just filling. Water is working down here as well. And running water up top. Awesome guys. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the water change system that we just built. Next, I'm gonna be doing the air system and that's gonna be running along the whole ceiling. That will be my next video. And then after that, hopefully I can get the cascade and the beta, set, uh, beta tank set up like I promised I would. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below or Instagram direct message me. I've been answering a few people's questions already. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Again, like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. See you guys in the next one. Peace.